it's all the process of evolution of a soul, you know, we're, and we're never done. Your whole lifetime, you're going to, you're just going to be expanding and understanding more and knowing yourself more. That's the part that's, you know, knowing the world is, is, it's too big. <laughs> the world is too complicated because there's all these different perspectives, all these different universes, really. Their cosmology is different from yours. It's irrelevant. Your universe is what matters. Your dreams, that, that notebook of like all the things that, yeah, someday I want to have a house that looks like this and whatever. And the universe may say, you know, it's not in your best interest. You know, I could give it to you, that Maserati, but you're going to crash it, you know. So we don't always want what we want in the long run. <laughs> and then to, to go you know, deeper into the, the derivation of our desires, I think is important too. Because many of the things that we want are, are for reasons that if we examine them further, eh, well, maybe we don't want them. Maybe it was somebody else's idea. Maybe it was culture and movies that made us want it. Maybe it was how we look to others that matters. And again, that's that's our perspective of of um, the uh, outside world having authority over my inner world. Is that is that to your benefit? <laughs> you know, I think in the end, if you want to be a truly sort of balanced, happy person, that stuff becomes irrelevant. Other people's view of you, their dreams for you, it has to become irrelevant. Not in terms of pushing it away, but just saying, yeah, I, I hear what you're saying. I love that vision of me that you're projecting. It sounds lovely, but I'm I'm going to do it my way. <laughs> you know, I'm going to do it a little differently. Mom, dad, whatever, superiors in work, whatever. It's an ongoing process. Yeah. Um. But I, I think either way, there has to be this levity is the wrong word, but a levitation over the role, above the role. The, I am not this role. This is all for fun. This is all for entertainment. This is all for, you know, polishing my skills in, in different ways. And you do it I'm, for the plot. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to do it for the entertainment. <laughs> I got to do something in this world. And if, if you realize after years and years that what you're doing isn't working for you, then you're going to have to make a shift. And that's all right, too. That's, that's fine, too. But you may find value in the action down the road. Even the parts that feel, you know, mundane, even the parts that feel amorphous and uncertain, you know, am I, <laughs> am I spending these three hours for nothing? That's... You know, that's a fear that can stop you in your tracks right there, that that your your action, your work is meaningless, right? But that presupposes that time is relevant. And yes, you're getting older, right? With every breath, every day, you're getting older. Yes, it's true. But from another perspective, there's a part of you that doesn't. There's a part of you that, you know, the, the later you'll be an old fart, gray hair, wrinkle all that stuff and you're, you're still going to be you <laughs> you're still going to feel like you and the things that you love and hate and whatever it's going to be a little bit more clarified but it's still just you right and so given that timelessness of you does it really matter because a lot of the insignificant things you're just going to forget anyway being 57 i can tell you there's a lot of things that I just don't even remember. And people say things like, Brian, remember that time that, you know, I, I don't know, don't remember. Because you know, the mind is a filter for relevance, right? And so the, the things that you do in your day they're, that are the same as yesterday, that, be, that just dissolves. The consciousness doesn't hang on to that because there's no, you know, significant importance. There's importance to that. And the, the other things... That, that in that moment, there was heightened emotion, there was heightened exhilaration, there was something that happened where you didn't know if you could, and then you tried and you did. That's the shit you're going to remember. Right? And that can be physical risk, it can be love risks, that's huge. I mean, there's nothing more dangerous than, than opening, you know, your heart to someone else. Um, but all of that stuff, I think, will be, in, in the end, what matters. You'll remember the really good breaks that you take in between work more than you will the work sometimes. All the parachutes that I've built, I don't remember all the colors. 
but I do remember the moments when I saw a video of somebody landing that parachute that I built and the happy dance that they made after they landed. That's the, the emotional high mark that, that gave my life meaning. That is one store flag. That is one big ass flag. <laughs> We're gonna fly with this. It's gonna be fun. So they didn't want to show the packing. But it, now it's just about in there. <laughs> cool, eh? That's awesome. <laughs> it's a production. This is going to be fun. We're going to chase one of the biggest flags in the world. <laughs> oh my gosh. comes the door. All right. And he's out. Hi. Hello. <laughs> I'm just above you. Okay, we have to go to the right side. Yep. Or we have to go to the right side. Yeah. Yeah, you have to switch over. And so does Vetla. So keep Vetla's an eye on him. Going. He's a yeah. little below you, but you. there's the flag. Here's the turn, right turn, right turn. Nice. It's cool to see the vibration. Turning right, turning right, turning yep. right, switching slots, we just switch our slots. Yeah. Nice. 1,900. Okay, thank you. <laughs> you did a great job of keeping us near the airport. It's nice with the wind and the flag. Yep, I'm going around one more time. Yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing. Yeah, 
now I'm gonna leave him. Hello! Woo oh, Alright, fly a good pattern. Oh, I'm sinking below you, so you can I guess you follow me then. Because I'm a little bit below and behind you to the right. You got it, just finish the flare. <laughs> wow. Nice. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Midsummer night in Norway. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Brian Germain and thank you for joining.